Um, we did talk last week about the shaving cream technique. There we go, over here. And this was kind of fun. And this one I mounted on a card, but I haven't done anything with it yet. So that's kind of cool. Okay, well, I'm going to get rocking and rolling then on the itinerary. Y'all just get on the tour bus. And on the left, you'll see this. And on the right, you'll see that on the tour bus. Okay, so one thing I want to show you. This is fun. Um, this is not even Stampin' Up! But, I mean, sometimes there's, there's a product out there that is so stinking cute, I can't even. So... I showed y'all um, with a post about this card here. Um, people are now making these slimline cards, and they're tall. I'll tell you how big it is, actually. Let's see. It is, um, this one is nine and a quarter by three and three quarters, which really and truly, if you do it like that, I think it's seven and a half by nine and a quarter, something like that. Um, but yeah, so the thing is, I don't love the envelopes because these are the kind you buy at, you know, the gro grocery store, drugstore, whatever. So I tried to frou-frou mine up a little bit and just make it kind of cute. And because of, um, the nature of the stripes and the little photo edge things, I thought this was cute on the front. So I did that. Um, but this is a stamp set from my favorite things and I want you to see this is the actual stamp for this one all right but you see that this kitty cat is on top of this dog that's because I had a big boo-boo right above this dog's head it's a black smudge so what I did I uh, this is the inside of the card what I did, I cut a mask, and I, this is a um, post-it note, and I just stuck it over the puppy dog like this, and I stamped that cat. Just like that, okay? All right, but the tail and the body and the foot and that foot, I just drew them in. I just, just I, I'm not an artist. I, it just happened to turn out. So, um... Like I said, I could not resist this set. It's just too stinking cute. And it's called, um, it's my favorite things. It's BB, like boy, boy, dash 70, picture perfect. And you see it's got puppy dogs and kitty cats. And it's got a monkey. And it's got a sloth. And I call these guinea pigs, but it could be hamsters. I don't even know. And um, it's got some cute little... Um, sentiments on it and I just love cute and funny so I made that and now wanted to share that with you and what else okay all right so I want to talk to y'all about we're, we're gonna make something really cool tonight using baby wipes yeah true story baby wipes and um want to talk to y'all about foundation stuff like in other words if you if you don't know what to get okay and you're like you know just starting out or whatever and a new catalog comes around and you're like oh my gosh I love everything well first of all designer series paper is going to come and go I don't know that it's ever been carried over. I'm not going to say it hasn't. I'm not going to say it won't be. But okay, so when you see designer series paper, you're going to see one that you fall in love with, okay? I fell in love with several here. But the thing is, if you see it and you love it, get it, okay? You know you're going to use it a lot. It's your colors. It's your this. It's your that. You can get a lot of use out of it. Just get it, okay? It's a good foundation. Um... <clears throat> excuse me, for whether you're making cards or scrapbook pages or gift items or whatever. Another thing is they list in all of our designer series papers, they list the colors that go with them. So it's you never have to guess, okay? Never, ever, ever. Um, this, okay, so for me, 
This was my go-to. It's called In Good Taste, and it's wood grains and actually a lot of different textures. There's some tiles and some um, rug-looking things. And anyway, chenille, I don't even know. But I also love the Forever Greenery. You know, I could go on. I love it all. I love it all. Um, also, for your basics, you want to get um, something like the 4 by 6 pads of the Designer Series papers. Um, or, let's see, this is the in colors, and this is the, the families like the Brights, Neutrals, Regals, and Subtles. So, just... If you're building your um, foundation, so to speak, you're going to want some some good designer series papers. You're going to want some good um, card stock. For example, let's say you go with Brights, okay, and you get the Brights designer series paper. So you come over here to the Brights and you go, okay, well, I know I've got these colors in my 6 by 6 stack right here. So I'm going to go with, you want to go with a Whisper White. You always want to have Whisper White. Now, you can see this. Whisper White for your base quite often. And then you'll choose some cardstock to be a solid base. And then you're going to come in with your designer series um, papers and things like that. Okay? I hope that makes sense. If you want more information and I didn't make any sense whatsoever, just let me know. Okay, also, punches. You want to go with some basic punches. Um, butterflies are always popular. Circles. The Detailed Trio Punch, I love it. I use it a lot. Um, balloons, you're really just going to be using for, you know, occasions where you'd put balloons on a card. That's great. But if you are trying to save your money and you're just trying to do a little bit, unless, you know, unless butterflies are your very favorite thing on the planet, then maybe you'll go with circles. Same thing over here with labels. Pick a label that would that would really have a lot of use, okay? You definitely want a label that your um, sentiments will fit in. So if you've chosen a couple of card set, I mean stamp sets, you might want to check and make sure that the labels fit it. Um, of course, you know, the world is your oyster. I don't, know, I don't even know what that means, but I say it a lot. Um, so you can buy whatever you want. But as far as basics are concerned, these are also a good idea. The lovely labels, pick a punch, the tag toppers, um, the postage stamp rectangle thingy. Those are all um, punches. Then we get into the dies. So if you have a what we call big shot, um, but Stampin' Up has their own, and it is called it is called the Stampin' Cut and Emboss Machines. Um, there's a Australian demonstrator named Kylie Bertucci, and she calls it a skim, S-C-E-M, stamping, cut, embossing machine. I mean, it works, okay? So if you've got something like that, then you might choose one of these die bundles, like one that is very versatile. Um, the Stitch So Sweetly. The stitch triangles. Let me just talk about this for just a minute. The stitch triangles. Um, I don't know what it is in my past about geometrics, but geometrics give me anxiety. Does anybody Does anybody know anybody like that? Because I'm sure I'm not the only one. I've never been the only one of anything. But geometrics just kind of make my stomach flip over. I don't know why. Um, could be because I was born in 1958 and the 60s were really big with geometrics. I don't know. Um, layering circles, layering squares, layering ovals. All of these are great basics. Okay. Stitch rectangles, stitch shapes here, stitch nested, things like that. Trio of tags. Um, definitely the, um, the well-written and the word wishes. You can use those so much, just for so many things. And the same goes with your embossing folders. Um, you know, you might want to get one that's um, very versatile. I did mark a bunch of these, but I'm not going to go through them because y'all get the idea, right? You kind of want to go, you kind of want to go with um, 
things that you can use over and over and over for a bunch of different purposes. It doesn't, um, it's not exclusive to just a season or a theme or anything like that. Um, it, it's just, you know, more, more bang for your buck is what I'm trying to get you to, to understand there. Okay. So, <clears throat> all right. I want to show y'all something really cool tonight. It is the baby wipe technique. Who has heard of the baby wipe technique? What you're going to need are boom, 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 baby wipes. We happen to have ordered a case. So I've got them all over the house. I happen to love having them nearby. And last week, y'all, I kid you not, I was homeschooling my grand girls and the week before. Y'all know that because I did talk about it. But let me tell you, I don't care how old a kid is, it's always good to have baby wipes handy. Mm -hmm, it is. So here's the thing. I'm going to take this baby wipe looks like this. I'm going to fold it in half, fold it in half again, and then I'm just going to kind of fold it like this. Now, we're going to get a lot of mileage out of this baby wipe tonight, or out of a few baby wipes. So, here we go. I'm going to show you how to make buffalo check on your backgrounds. Okay, we're going to start by showing you this. Isn't that cute as a button? What do y'all think? Now, here's one of the reasons I was telling you about the, um, about having things that are very versatile, okay? This amazing you came from, and yes, scary dental tool. Bum, bum, bum. The Amazing You came from, I'm quite certain, a celebration offering maybe a year or two ago. And it says amazing, and then there's another sentiment, uh, celebrate. Celebrate Amazing You. But I thought this would be so good for a guy card. We also, for a brief time, had this. Um, can you see it looks like those diamond metal things on a pickup truck? But anyway, this is why it's good to have some foundation pieces. I have this leftover and this leftover. This is leftover. This is a leftover. And then I was able to make my own paper in the background with a baby wipe. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. These are foundation pieces and I can use them again and again for different, uh, different times or whatever you want to call it. Okay. Here's another one. How pretty is that? This is using the um, baby wipes. And let's see. Y'all aren't gonna believe it, but that's using the baby wipes too. Yeah, true story. Okay. And I even got this from the baby wipes. I know, it's crazy. So here we go, we're gonna make something. All right, I'm going to use this. I've already cut it with one of my stitched rectangle um, dies. See the little stitches? So cute. I love the little stitches. All right, I've folded my um, baby wipe, and I just wanted this rounded edge, okay? So let's see. I'm going to go with, these are called re-inkers, and hmm. I don't know how that's going to look. That might be too dark. I think I'm going to go with with um, Cherry Cobbler and Daffodil Delight. Now, the re-inkers, we just, they're, they're exactly what they sound like. This is um, ink here that we will pour onto our ink pads to re-ink them as they get older. You know, they might tend to dry out or we might use them up or whatever. There are some techniques that use a lot of ink. Okay, so I'm just going to go, I'm going to squeeze some on here and squeeze some on here. I'm going to leave a little space in between and a little space on the end. This is the cherry cobbler. Does not look pretty, does it? Mm -mm. Okay, and this is the Daffodil Delight. Come back. 
going to go right here and right here. I don't even know what I did right there. Okay. Daffodil Delight. Cherry Cobbler. Y'all ready for this? Okay, here we go. I'm going to just drag it. Now I know that that ends with yellow, so I turned it over. And I'm going to drag it some more. Okay, so those two yellows joined, and I know that that's red, and I know that this is red, Cherry Cobbler. I'm just going to drag that back on there a little bit. Drag some back here. And then we're going to go this way. Now the trick here would be to not be wobbly. I, I definitely have to turn the paper or the baby wipe one way or the other to get the yellow back on the yellow. Does that make sense? I hope so. Like this. Okay. So we have a buffalo check. And what are we going to do with this? Let me show you. I got to get my little my little pad out so I don't soak all my papers here. Okay, so I'm going to open this up a bit. And so we're this is a done thing. All right, it's done. Um, like you're finished. And again, here's another color. And then here's the black and red buffalo check right here. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? You could do this in pink and, and a peach or peach and teal or pink and teal or it can be as girly or as, you know, uh, manly as you want. It's just a neat, neat technique. So I'm just adding a little bit of ink here. Now I will tell you this, I was holding the <laughs> I was holding it in my hand when I was getting ready for this video and you see what happened. Okay, so this is our little pumpkin stamp from the Gather Together set that we used last week. All right? And I'm going to show you you just kind of go like that. Well, I didn't get enough. Let's do it again. Hopefully I got enough that time. Well, sort of. See that? Isn't that cool? And here's one where I had three colors. I had some green in there that I did earlier. But then there's this. So how did I do this? I love this. I love it because I would use this as a background for... Uh, there's so many ways. So many ways I would use that. Okay. How I got that was going to do like that and I don't know, just kind of, I'm just kind of tapping it on here. Can y'all see? See how it's doing? I love this. So many techniques out of this one little blob of ink and I am frugal enough to where if I'm going to like squirt the reinker out on a baby wipe and then throw it away, I better have more than one use for it, right? Not that reinkers are that expensive. They really are not. But I just love having I don't know. I just like being a good steward of of things. So there we go. Oh, and then there's this. This is a weird technique. I don't know that I even like it, but I did try it. And, I mean, maybe you can do something with that. I don't know. But you could just spin it around. And I guess, like, if you were doing a nighttime thing and you did, a, like, a light gray or blue here and then darker and darker, that would be kind of cool. It would be kind of like a, you know, night sky or something. So there's there are other things you can do with this. But this, these are the things I wanted to show you tonight. And you'll see that this is just the two colors. This is the three colors. I really do like that extra with the green in it. Isn't that neat? Okay, so since we've made this, I'm going to try and build us a card. Oh, dear. You know what I need is a baby wipe. <laughs> 
I just happen to have one. One of my friends has, um, she's welcomed a new baby in her family. I, it's her grandchild, I'm sorry. And <laughs> every time she posts about that baby, we tease her because she keeps saying that baby needs a bath and she puts him in the bathtub. It's adorable. And, and I'm like, he looks like he needs a bath no matter what she posts. And she says, right? I keep telling him he needs another bath. Okay, so I'm just drying this off. Just trying to... Oh, and this this is the um, uh, silicone craft sheet. I wrote it on there because I can never remember the word silicone on my own. All right, so we're going to try and make a card out of this one. All right. Wow. Ooh, it's kind of loud, but it's okay. So um, I went to physical therapy today, y'all. did... He mostly killed me. Sometimes he doesn't. But man, today was rough. Okay, first of all, like I said, I'm not homeschooling this week. So I don't know what happened to me Monday evening about 7 o'clock. But I was like, I'm tired of this junk. And I went into the EBR, which is our emotional baggage room. It's kind of <laughs> it's kind of like... um an all-purpose room. Um, you'd have to see it to understand it or believe it or whatever. Now, y'all, disclaimer, I have no idea how this is going to turn out. Okay? So, if it's if it's a BU card, which stands for but ugly, don't hold it against me. Okay? I've already punched these guys out to try and throw some elegance on it. Because I knew we were going with red and yellow. But anyway, so I go out in the EBR, and I'm like, I'm so over these stacks of stacks. Because we have one huge room, and there's a whole lot going on in there. Well, I started cleaning that room, and guess who else had to get involved? Ninja Man. Because I think he was afraid not to, because I was on a roll. So, um, I have a huge pile of things to go to not goodwill but i call it goodwill um you know they make a lot of money re it restored not not restore like um habitat but it's called restored and they have a mission it's just a beautiful mission and anyway they have this thrift store so I've got like a ton of stuff to give to them. So I'm just going to stamp the season of thanks because it's easy. It's right here. Let me grab that baby wipe again. I don't know why I put it in the trash. Not that one. This one. <laughs> and if you, if you want to just quickly clean your stamps, just dab them. If you're already working with baby wipes anyway, don't drag it because there's fibers in here. But just dab it. So, um, yeah, so I have a lot of things to donate to them. And it's a wonderful uh, thing that they do over there. They, they do counseling and they do Bible studies. And um, there's a whole lot of... Um, counseling for people dependent on things and I'm not trying to be funny but I should go because I'm dependent on sugar I mean it's a dependency right I'm not trying to be funny it's a it's a serious thing okay hold on all right now it bugs me that my stripes aren't straight but if it's kind of like a piece of flannel you know it wouldn't be straight right so I'm trying to pretend mine's flannel um, <laughs> even though we know it's not. So these I already cut out and I cut them out of, here's another foundation thing you're going to want. This brushed metallic. I cut them out of this. So I, I was cleaning out the EBR, the emotional baggage room. And I've got a lot of things to donate. And I realized in all the years that I accumulated uh, 
fabric and patterns and things like that, one thing that was consistent was my friend Tammy. And I don't want to cry because I miss Tammy. I miss all my friends in Savannah. But now Tammy's moved just near where she already lived. But it still makes me sad because now I don't even know where she lives. But I mean, I could. You know, all I gotta do is drive down there, I guess. But it's just, I don't know. People move and I don't know. Anyway, so she was a big influence on my sewing. And Ninja Man asked me last night, he's like, well, I see some fabric here that you might want to keep. And I said, well, Tammy matched all my fabrics for me. I don't even know what that would go with. And it's true. So here's the thing. I'm donating some, some things, and I'm going to just buy kits, sewing uh, kit things. So that way, I'll use what comes with it, and I'm not going to have a whole bunch of stuff left over. Which, um, my friends who have been to the EBR, they have seen my stash. Oh, y'all, I'm going to like this. I mean, I don't know. It, it looks wintry. It looks fallish to me. I'm going to like it. Do y'all? What do y'all think? We got a little bit of ways to go. Now, I put these two up on the dimensionals, okay? This one, I'm just going to stick right down onto the card. So, I had a great time teaching the grand littles uh, in their little homeschool. It was really, it was, it was just a great thing. It was a great thing. They are so sweet, and they got along beautifully, and, you know, I was afraid we were going to have to discipline here and there, and, you know, time out, and I just, I just didn't want to deal with that, but, you know, I signed on, you know, however it would work out. Now, the reason I'm placing this one funny, if you see, I cut side of the side of him off. See? His little side came off. Um, but it's just because I cut him that way, so I'm going to stick him down here. And again, I'm going with an odd number. Um, so, yeah. So, they were amazing and sweet, and they are with their mama and daddy until uh, my next bout, which will be October. Till I have to homeschool again. Okay. I like... Okay. Let me just tell you all this. Guy cards. Very difficult to do for some people. I love the challenge of a guy card more than anything. And I would totally give this to a guy for his desk. Totally. Because it, it just... I don't know. It's... I think it's good for either. Men or women. All right. So we're going to put a little bit of bubbling on here with my bum 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 scary dental tool all right we got some big bling oh let's see hmm i, I always do that i kind of hover like i'm a dang helicopter going i don't know where to put everything but we don't want to like well we could we could just line them up i don't know maybe i like that hold on hold on let's see if i like this See what we think. And y'all remember now, you can color you can color your bling with your alcohol markers. Y'all, I really like that. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? Let's see. Stamp from the baby wipe stipple. Okay, I'm calling this stipple. I made myself notes. I'm calling this buffalo check. This is stippling. And then, of course, the variegated pumpkins that I showed you. These guys, they're variegated stamping. It's different. And if I could figure out, I mean, I haven't tried, but if I figure out a way to get this perfectly straight, and I think one good way would be to do a larger piece. Hold on, this is going to work, I think. Watch this. Hold my beer. Okay, so it... It's kind of wonky, which is fine, really. But if I were to line this up a bit, I'm going to cut it out. And let's see. 
Let's see what happens. I'm right over here if anybody calls. Just take a message. Please hold. All right, let's see. From wonky to... That's better, isn't it? Okay, so that works. That works. So the whole thing isn't so wonky. And then look, we got this. So we could use that as a background if we had a piece of cardstock. Oh, hello. If we had a piece of cardstock. Oh, hello. Oh, I didn't show you that. Okay, let me show you that real quick. Let me show you that. You know, these right here should just sit on top of my desk. I use these things just about every time I craft rectangle stitch. Do y'all hear the dog crying? Yeah, he's crying. He loves to just sit and cry. Okay, we're going to do this. I'm just going to do a big piece of cardstock because that's what I've got. Okay, so this was kind of neat. This is... The Buffalo Check. I think we'll do a whole different color because I'm a little tired of the red and yellow. Are y'all just a little bit? It's okay if you're just a little bit tired of it. All right. We're going to fold. He does it every night. The dog sits and cries every night. We don't know what he's trying to tell us. We feed him. We baby him. We take his picture. We post it on Facebook. We do all the things, but no, he still wants to cry. All right, for the fun of it, I want to make a, a check first. That is pretty. Go over that again, okay? And then, mm, turn it this way, yellow, turn it this way, and blue, okay. So that would be pretty. All right, but here's what I want to show y'all. What I did with this one. Let's see if y'all have, okay. I went like this. And then I came back like this. Right there. Isn't that cool? That is yet another technique. So we got the buffalo check. We've got the stippled check. I'm going to call it stippled check. We've got the variegated stamped. That's another stippled check, but it's closer together. I just spaced it apart more. And that's another stippled check. And then I just took it and went a little bit crazy on a piece of cardstock and just made a big old mess. And this I would use as a background, like if I were going to um, punch out a label or something and then put a smaller label, a, a white cardstock label in, front, in the front of that. And these are the stippleds. And that's that circular thing that I have no idea what to do with that. I think I'm gonna try a little more stippling. We'll finish this off with stipples. There we go. There. And that is that. I hope somebody learned something tonight. I hope it was helpful. Hope you enjoyed it. Here's our little card we made right here. I forgot I was not on my desk view anymore. This is the one we made. And you could put, you could even build this up even more if you wanted. Y'all, I did go to physical therapy today, and this is my physical therapy shirt. Um, it's actually a, a dress, but I wear leggings up under it um, because I want to. And I'm at the age where I don't care, you know. I care if my dress flies up over my head, but I don't care if I'm wearing leggings. So... Not that my dress flies up during physical therapy. It never does, because we're just working on this arm. We're not working on anything flying up. But anyway, he killed me dead. And I asked him, does he get a sticker for his helmet every time he has a kill? <laughs> he said he does. <laughs> um, but thank y'all. If you have any questions, let me know. 
I have 700 subscribers now. Woohoo! So I need 300 more in order to monetize my, um, my page and start getting actually paid for my work. That would be fun. Um, don't forget Kathy Bowes Totes, my 31 group. And would love for y'all to look over there and see what's going on. I have some really neat um, brand new fall things to look at. So fabulous. And thank y'all so much for being here tonight. Love you guys and God bless. Toodles.